Hi there, welcome to Joyce on YouTube. Don't forget to join us on the Joyce Meyer app and at JoyceMeyer.org for more of what you're about to see and lots of great content to help you in your everyday life. Thanks so much for joining us. You talk about humility being an important part of this. How does humility fit into well, this? Well, humility is really what brokenness is. See, brokenness is, that doesn't sound good to people. We say, you, you have to be broken, and they're like, wait a minute, I don't like this Yeah, I don't, I don't want to sign up for that. It sounds painful. I, yeah. I, wait a minute, I, I'm going to turn to one of those channels where they're telling me that God wants to bless me and yeah. promote me, and, and He does, and He does. But brokenness is really no more than getting you to the point where you know you know that you know that you know that you cannot do anything apart from him. Yeah. Yeah. It's not me. I don't get the credit. Yep. I don't deserve the glory. Mm -mm. I mean, you, you get to the point where I spent so many years wasting my time in works of the flesh, trying to get Dave to change, trying to change myself, trying to change my kids, trying, you know, trying to change everybody, trying to run the world. And I'm telling you what. <laughs> Trying to be the Holy Spirit is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> job's been filled already. It just wears you out. It's and so, and when you give all that up, <laughs> I don't know how he does it. <laughs> when you give all that up, you can finally <laughs> enter the rest of God, mm -hmm. and you can watch God work. Yeah. I, I want to ask you this for some of our friends who may not be familiar with the terminology, but when you say works of the flesh, okay, you're you're talking about doing what we feel like doing. It's my energy trying to do God's job. Mm. So that's a great definition. So that was quick too. Yeah. It was good. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll write that God. down. Yeah. Well, I've, I've got a lot of experience, honey. Because <laughs> uh, I was big time into works of the flesh because I'm strong. Yep. I don't need anybody. I mean, all those promises and vows I made to myself when I was being abused. I'll never ask anybody for anything. Hmm. I'll never trust anybody. I'm never going to need anybody. And boy, <laughs> did I have a surprise coming. Because mm -hmm. everything that I, I, <laughs> mm -hmm. I tried to do didn't work. Right. Yeah. So then I would get frustrated. And finally, God gave me the formula. And I put a sign on my refrigerator. Frustration equals works of the flesh. Wow. So yeah. every time I got frustrated, every time I got frustrated, even getting frustrated this week at the insurance company, it's because I mm -hmm. <laughs> was determined they were going to give me what I wanted yeah. because of how much that insurance yeah. cost. And the well, me thing too. Is, is, I am right there with you in that yeah. trap, definitely. But the thing is, is I can't, I can't make them do that. Yeah. I can pray about it. Yeah. You know, but I can't, God can, but I can't make them do that. So that's what brokenness is to me. It's mm -hmm. us learning that only that. You know, we, we do our part, mm -hmm. but we can't do God's part. Yeah. Jesus fed 5,000 with a little boy's five slices of bread and two fish. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the beautiful thing about that is that little boy wasn't even counted. They only counted the men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They didn't count yeah. the children and the women. Mm -hmm. So even somebody more. that people don't count, God will count. Oh, wow. oh yeah, good. yeah. I thought it was like that. She's bad. rolling. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. 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 See, yeah. he provided that little know nothing that couldn't even be counted. He had wow the raw material for the miracle. Yeah. And so, what did Jesus say to them? What do you have? And when you can finally say. Nothing but you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then maybe you're ready for yeah. God to use you. Isn't it something that, to think about? Like when you said that, it made me think about all the people that feel forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. And like people that have maybe even sacrificed and done so much in ministry mm -hmm. or done so much for the kingdom of God and maybe have gotten a diagnosis or maybe have a failed yeah. marriage or maybe suffered something, you know, during the pandemic or, mm -hmm. you know, all those people that are like, I feel, I've done so much. Because that was one of my things. I was kind of like, sure. God, I've given my entire life to ministry. How could this happen to me? But the thing about it is God never forgets. But when I say, and I have to keep saying this, 
if you do things God's way, <laughs> there's nothing that the devil can throw at you. Yeah. Absolutely nothing that God will not turn around for your good mm -hmm. and give you a double reward. Mm -hmm. So what does that terminology mean to all of you? If you do things God's way, what do you say, Ginger? What does that mean? Oh, that's a really big question because there's so many different levels to it. But I think if I simplify it as much as possible, it really is to have a heart that seeks after Him more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm doing that, then then I do want to do what He asked me to do. I'm spending time to get to know who He is. All the other things fall into place. Mm -hmm. So I think if if my heart is seeking after Him most of all. Yeah. And that that's, that's good, really good, but let's get into specifics. What, is that, what does that mean? Forgiveness? Yes. <laughs> Those I'm eyes are yes, ma'am. Those yes, eyes are sorry. I pointed at you again. You did. <laughs> okay, I'm working on it. Okay. So you uh, want specifics? Yeah. Forgiveness. <laughs> yes. Keeping a good attitude. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'll mm -hmm. put my point yes. on. Yes. <laughs> no, you read us. Go ahead. You you give us a change your attitude. We love you. Will forgive. Yes. We what will. is she gonna do? <laughs> we have so, so do. many things. <laughs> Being a blessing to other people mm. while you're hurting. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are things that I've learned. These yeah. are things that specifics. And yeah. you're right. Seeking God. And really, if you do seek God you're probably going to have all those things. Because he gives you those desires to yeah. do those things. Otherwise, but if you're it's the, a constant fight. But if you're yeah. at the point that you're talking about, then you probably don't have some of the problems these other people are talking about. Like us. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, <laughs> us over here on the couch. Oh, but, she said those other people. <laughs> that, one, thing that, yeah, one thing that comes to mind that I've learned a lot from you is like not striving. Because yeah. as a person of my, like me, I am a striver and I want to just do and I want to, because I know I can do something we independent. All are. Yeah, we yeah. are. So I've had to learn, and now it's what I crave. Like I am not doing it if I do not feel peace, because I do not have the time or the energy or the emotional capacity to do it. So mm -hmm. that's that's a practical one for me. Is just don't strive if if I know it's in my own strength. Yeah. You can Anytime tell. you hear yourself say, "I am so frustrated," I am just so frustrated. Why Why do people get frustrated? When you're trying to do something you can't do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're putting everything you've got into it, and it's just not working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's exhausting. And it is frustrating. It's exhausting. And so then we tell God, I have done everything I know to do. And that's and, the problem. And, <laughs> and there it is. And there lies the problem. <laughs> one time falling on the floor very dramatically. No. <laughs> yeah. Very dramatically. God... <laughs> I just, I just give up. I give up. And honestly, I heard the Holy Spirit say, really? <laughs> Finally. Finally. Thank you. Really? Now maybe I can do something until you take back over again. <laughs> until until you take know. it back. <laughs> you know, and you think about things like that. Like, I remember just calling and calling and texting and texting and saying, do this, do this. Like, why is it this? Why is it that? And then afterwards, I'm just so sad, so <laughs> tired, so exhausted. And finally, when I would just give up, be like, God, like, you're not listening to me. And he's like, no, you're just talking too much. Like, you know, you need to shut up. So I totally get that. Like, yeah. when we actually surrender... That's when he can actually say, okay, now can I try, can I take a stab at it? You yeah, know, yeah. And I love that. That really is too when he just amazes us. That's when our gratitude really overflows because just when we thought all was lost because I've tried it my way 30,000 different times, the same, and that's the definition of insanity, right? Doing yeah. the same thing all the time and expecting something to be different. <laughs> yeah. When we finally give up on that and mm -hmm. God does something, that really does just shoot your, your gratefulness level off the charts mm -hmm. yeah. because you're like, Wow, you know, God, God really is God. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't have to be me. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and I'm not exhausted at Ex the end yeah. of it. Not yeah. so stressed. And mm -hmm. that humility. To finish that thought about humility. When you're humble, you know you don't deserve anything. Yeah, yeah. so true. And see, we've got a real problem with that in our culture today. Yeah, that entitlement. Mm -hmm mentality that I should have this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when you're truly humble, it does make you understand that I don't deserve this. Yeah. You know, everything I have is because Jesus died for me. Mm -hmm. And so it makes you thankful for mm -hmm. it. And I think about the visual we had last week, like it still has stuck with me or the likely last episode, like it just 
stuck with me on how once we pivot our thinking from complaining and being so negative about the situation and striving, like you were saying, like that God is ready to to charge angels on our behalf to like fix these things. And it, like that visual to me was so powerful. Like they're just waiting, yeah. taking like in stance, like ready to come to our rescue mm-hmm. as soon as we say like, you know what? Thank you. And I, I let go. But thank you, God, for, for whatever you're doing right now. Like those angels are waiting mm-hmm. to like fix it for us. Like, they hearken to the image. word of God. Yeah. 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 So good. Like, well, just a, a yeah. Visual. You talk about, you talk about <clears throat> gratitude and, and the words thank you as being a weapon. <laughs> um, we, we don't often think about it that way. You know, well, I mean, if the devil throws his best shot at you and gives you a problem and you can't solve it and all it pulls out of you is I'm grateful for what I have. Mm-hmm. Thank you, God, for what you've given me. Mm-hmm. Thank you that you'll take care of this in your timing, in your way. And in the meantime, I'm just going to keep being a blessing to people. And you know, I'm not going to be bitter and angry. I mean, just imagine how mad that makes the devil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, of yeah. course, that is spiritual yeah. warfare. Now, you got to go through a few things to get there. And I'm not saying that I'm there 100% of the time. I just told you. I mean, I didn't even think until I sat down here that I had been complaining all week about this insurance <laughs> thing. And I'm the one that wrote the book. I'm being thankful. So, <laughs> she literally wrote the book. So, I, I wrote the book. But you and redeemed so, yourself. You said thank you for him eventually. You did. Yeah, yeah did. I did. <laughs> now I have to go see if I mean it. Uh, but, but the thing is, is you can, it's, it's habitual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we do it without even realizing that we're doing it. And, I mean, I know people will laugh when I say this, but, I mean, literally, you can call any company and ask for the complaint department, Mm -hmm. but there is no complaint department in heaven. Mm -hmm. And God does not answer complaints, He answers prayers. So, we're just wasting our time. Want to hear more from Joyce on this topic? We've got you covered. Visit us in the Joyce Meyer app or at JoyceMeyer.org today.